I'm Leslie Dick, and this is my daughter, Allison, and we live in the Mount Waddington region. And who are you? Cameron Dick. My name is Joel Dick. What was your favorite book as a child? My favorite book as a child was one my grade six teacher read out loud to our class. It was called Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. It was written by Mildred D. Taylor, and I've read it several times since. My favorite book um, for in the past couple, like 10 years <laughs> was either Last The Last Train by Rana something or Titanic published by Scholastic. My favorite book as a child was Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. And my favorite book as a child was a book called Kit Carson, but I can't remember who the author was anymore. What is a recent book you have read or listened to? Um, I've just recently finished listening to Everything I Never Told You. It was written by Celeste Ng, who also wrote um, Little Fires Everywhere. It was a really good book about relationships and families and communities and how all those things um, impact each other. I highly recommend it. Um, a, a recent book that I have listened to was Frindle by Andrew Clements, which was as hilarious as it was the first time that our teacher read to us in grade three. A recent book that I listened to that I read was Legend by Mary Lou. It was really good. It was about um, people running away and war and lies and stuff. And a recent book that um, that I read and I read almost every summer is Beerlicious by Ted Reader. Grillin', the Art of Grilling and Chilling. And there's lots of great uh, summer grilling recipes. I especially recommend the one for uh, salmon. What other resources do you use from the library? Um, beyond the books, I use quite a lot of the online resources. So I use Freegal for music. Um, I use RB Digital. I use Overdrive. And on my phone, I have the Libby app so I can listen to audiobooks. Um, a resource, uh, other resources that I use from the library are Freegal. Again, for music, and it actually does have audiobooks on it too. And um, Overdrive for audiobooks and ebooks, and their website for checking out physical books and audiobooks on CD. Oh, and we both also use the, the staff um, and the librarians at the library as a resource as well. They're helpful for recommending books to us and they're always as excited as we are when different holds come in, so it's always fun <laughs> to share that with them. The resources that I use from the library are Freegal, RB Digital, and Playways. The resources that I use from the library are, uh, I'm mostly just reading books, and um, I still get audiobooks on CD, and perhaps the most important resource that I use at the library is the librarians and the staff that work at the library, because they're awesome. Is there a book you've read as a family and really liked? Um, oh boy, we've read so many books as a family, especially when we go camping. We like to read a book around the fire. Um, I really liked the book, My Side of the Mountain. That was really good. A survival book that I also recommend. Um, I liked reading Heidi and about like living in the mountain and how it used to be where you wouldn't just go to the grocery store. You would cook stuff and stuff and stuff. And grow stuff. Yeah. Collect stuff. 
Yeah. Uh, a book that I liked was My Side of the Mountain. And a book that uh, we read as a family that I liked was Hatchet. How do you think your life story affects the, your relationship with the types of books you are drawn to? I think this is a really good question and I hadn't thought about it before. Um, and I, I like to read stories about relationships and families, um, ones that get in below the surface. And I guess that also kind of ties into the work that I do in community as well. I'm interested in people's stories and how they got to where they are. Um, I guess it's kind of related to living where we are, where there was, there's bomb shelters and stuff like that. I like to read history books like Titanic and about the Holocaust and dinosaurs and rocks and minerals and stuff like that. It's true. You've read a lot of them. <laughs> Um, the relationship with books that I'm drawn to would probably be fantasy and anything long because I have lots of free time. And I think my life story shapes the books that I'm drawn to uh, in that I've had lots of different adventures and traveling uh, in my life and uh, I'm drawn to those kinds of books with adventure and outdoorsy things. Lately, lots of books about sailing and adventures on the ocean. What about all the Western books that you read? I think that also plays into lots of, um, they're outdoors all the time, and it's adventure. I like it. What did the library mean to you? To me, the library is um, it's a place where I go every week. Um, to connect with community and to connect with my interests. I think I've read probably every recipe book and every gardening book that's on the shelf, um, as well as um, a wide variety of other ones. So I guess it's a place I can count on um, to share my interests. Um, the library means to me a place where I could... Um, I can get books, and then I can read them, and then I can return them, and not have to pay any money for them at all. Oh, because of the free... Um, no fines. No fines for kids. I pay probably somebody's wages in my overdue fines, but that's okay. <laughs> the library means to me free books. And the library means to me um, a place where, uh, a place that supports uh, all kinds of literacy. And uh, it's always been a place where I sign out books and I love reading. So it's been a, I guess, a fun place to go to. Strong, strong libraries, libraries, strong, strong communities. communities.